it's Sandra and welcome to Creative 404. In today's video, I'm going to be making a present for one of my collaborations. Um, in today's collaboration, we're doing it with five people, myself, Tammy Polly um, from Peace Love Craft Doll, Marna from Dolls Rescue, uh, Jay from Jay's Dolls UK, and Beth Ramsden from Beth Ramsden's channel. Um, we are all doing the summer collab where we create two summer outfits for each other and exchange them. I'm making an outfit today that's going to go to Tammy Polly. Then I'm going to open up a present that I received from Marna from Dolls Rescue. So if you'd like to see the other videos, they're going to be links in the description box below. But until then, let's get started on this video. Hello everybody, today we're going to create the first part of this outfit. You're going to need some tool and a sheet of paper. I like to use this little sheet of paper for what I'm going to make and that is this uh, beautiful little two-piece bathing suit bikini. Now I had some issues with this bikini so you might see it a couple of steps repeated because it was having a lot of issues going into the machine. So I had to constantly remake it because the machine would eat it and rip it apart. And it was really, really sad. Excuse me. So you use the paper so the machine doesn't, so the, pa the fabric doesn't fall into the machine. It doesn't work every time. Sometimes you have to double up on the paper. But after you've sewn the tool to the fabric, you're going to turn it right sides out. And it's a little bit of a task, but I'm sure you can do it. It is not too hard. You're just going to slowly pull the fabric right sides out. And I've gone off camera, so I'm sorry. I was really focused on it and I completely forgot what I was doing. And it was really hard. I accidentally, um, I actually pulled too hard at one point and pulled the fabric off and ripped the seams. I think this time I didn't rip the seams, so I was like really focused. I have really poor eyesight, so I had to really look into it. Um, and so here it is back, and I am trying real hard to get the seams to be just right. It is very, very cumbersome to get these little things turned right sides out. Um, sometimes you just got to massage it and iron it flat once you're done so that it doesn't look like it's rolled up into a tube. And I accidentally poked a little bit of a hole in mine, so I'm sorry. I did the same thing for the bras. In this case, I tried doing it one cup at a time, but later you will see that I would do it two cups at a time and then cut it in half. So here it is with the first one. I am trying to do the outsides of it and I'm planning on how to uh, do my seams. Should I go all the way around the middle piece or should I only do the, 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 the top and bottom? But I did end up doing just the top and bottom and then putting the little um, part in the middle. I am very worried that Tammy's going to have a lot of hard time uh, putting on the bikini. You'll see in a second. Here's when I tried doing it as one hole. I did the top, then I bottom, and then I'm going to cut it out and then cut the middle and then, yep, turn it right sides out. So here it is turned right side out and now I'm going to cut the middle and then tuck those middle pieces on either side for the strings that pull the, the bikini together. Here it is on the doll. See I added the strings. Um, you, you can see that it's a little bit uh, confusing so I hope Tammy's able to get it on her doll nicely. I am trying real hard to add as much details as possible because I love details on the dolls. I think it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with it. But I wasn't done there. Because if you're going to be wearing a bikini to the beach, you got to have some coveralls. So and I didn't want to do just one cover. I wanted to put a little outfit. So I went full set. This was actually a set I found on a dolly book um, that was found on Pinterest. If you like, you can always find me on Pinterest and follow my boards and see what's going to come next. 
So I decided to do these Bermuda shorts to go on top of my bikini. I actually did the Bermuda shorts very first, but I thought I would change up the order of operations for you guys so y'all can see my thought process in a more linear way. I tend to think about things very abstractly. Um, I also did some lining to these, these pants to help turn in those pockets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the pockets with the lining so that it's easier to turn the seams inwards for the pockets. And you'll see in just a second what I mean. So I'm going to go right here and here and then along the sides here. So here they are. Here's my pockets. I'm leaving the top and the sides open so that they can go on the seam allowances where they belong. So here is where they go. And you can see where the seam allowances are open. They follow along the seams that are going to be sewn on top of on the other side. So here they are, nice and, nice and pretty. I'm really excited. I think these are the cutest Bermuda shorts ever. I'm going to go top stitch them and I'll be right back. I'm also going to top stitch the pocket holes first and then I'm going to do the um, pockets to the pants front pieces. So here they are. I did the pockets first and then I did the um, top seam to the L shape around the pockets. Now I'm going to connect the back pieces to the front pieces and I am going to sew along the edge and then I'm going to top sew on top of that. So once I sew along the edge for the seams, I'm going to top stitch and this is how I top stitch. It looks great. I'm super excited. I also went ahead and did the hems on the bottom of the pants. Now after this, oh, I got a little string. I'm trying to get the little string. Oh no. Sometimes you get little strings, so it's just easy to cut them off. So we have the top band as well. And we have these, oh my goodness, I forgot. I have to do the cargo, I have to do the cargo pockets first before I, I do the middle, before I put the back seams together or the front seams together. So I'm going to do the cargo pants first because I want the cargo pockets on my Bermuda shorts because nothing says summer like some cargo Bermuda shorts and I'm going to fold it so like you see here and it's a little bit cumbersome because you want the pockets to have lots of room so you can put all the stuff like your wallet and things while you're at the beach. Um, granted, I wouldn't put your cell phone in your pocket because then you might forget and then jump in the water and that really sucks. <laughs> but then you got the little pocket flaps. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Oh, wait, I'll be right back in just a second. I'm still messing with my pockets. I think I'm going to do the top first and then I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold this top piece and then sew along the top and then fold the piece and then fold it again and put it on the pockets. So it's a little bit, it's confusing to uh, explain, but I will show you in a second how it looks when it's done. See? It's a little bit cumbersome. I had some issues getting it on because of the fabric, but it looks super cute. I'm really happy with it. I got two cargo pant pockets now right where they're supposed to be, right in the middle of the sides of your uh, pants. Now I'm going to do the front sides. I know I'm indicating the back side, but I'm going to put a snap in the back. So you're actually going to sew across the front. So here it is. Yeah, I messed up. I meant to say the front. See, even I make mistakes. So here it is sewed across the front seam because you want the front to be okay and you want the back to have the snap because I wanted it to snap in the back so that the um, it just looks really nice in the front and the snaps are kind of bulky and they can kind of be cumbersome. So now I'm doing the... Um, the front band. Mine is a little short. That happens sometimes. Um, just align it the best you can and cut off the rest that gets in the way. You see, I should have made my front seam a little bit deeper. That way it would fit. 
um, but I made my front seam a little too short so it is a little bit loose than what it should be but that's fine I will I will persist persist and keep going and do everything I can to make these pants look great and here they are I am really excited with how this looks I did a little front and then I kind of folded it in thirds um, if you've seen my snow white tutorial you'll understand what I'm talking about I sewed it on and then I kind of turned it around so that it kind of goes around the, the mid seam on the top and kind of folds it into the fabric. Now I am going to do the back seam and then I'm going to do the inseam. So I'm going to, first I'll do the back and then I'll do the inseam. So around the mid, the mid, inner part of the legs. So after you do the front, you're going to do the inner part of the legs. Now if you're wondering why the pattern is not in the description box below, it's going to be in after I've done my big surprise, which you'll find out in the end of this video what that surprise is. Um, but it's going to be after July, so J June, July, August is when the pattern is going to be up on the website. Or on this video so if you are watching this later on and it's past July 21st or July 2021 and it's already August then you have the pattern and I'm sorry you missed the surprise um, but other than that let's keep going this is what it looks like on the doll I added some anchor buttons which I'm really happy with um, and then I randomly forgot to film my little cover shirt, um, but you'll see it with the complete doll. Mine is without a head, but it, you got to see Beth Ramsey with it, how it looks when it, she puts it on her doll. Um, I know I wasn't really supposed to put it on this, but I wanted to show you. One thing that I did was I wetted the fabric of the t-shirt and then I got all of my wrinkles to be exactly where it's supposed to be and then let the, the water dry. On the shirt so the wrinkles kind of slouch and the shirt looks like it's slouching nicely it's not so stark and starchy and wrinkle free it looks more beachy when it's all wet and set perfectly so I per, per, per I put the um, the shirt on there with the wrinkles for a reason I added beads to the little shirt and I added tiny lace and all kinds of cool stuff. I'll probably do another video that's more of a tutorial. In this case, it's less of a tutorial, more as a follow along with me as I sew. Last, I made this beautiful dress, which you'll see right now. And if you're not familiar with my simple summer dress, this is exactly the same thing, except I just added more cute vibes and I think it has very wonderful cottage vibes. I think it's perfect as a summer outfit and I really hope that Tammy enjoys all the gifts that I have to bring. Now this is the end of my little sew with me. Um, I am going to be right back onto the camera and tell you what's happening next. Okay, that was my re that was me building my um, my doll from uh, for Tammy Polly. If you want to see the full outfit on a doll, not just a lifeless doll by head, you want to see the full version of it. Please go to Tammy Polly's channel to see um, Peace Love Craft Doll to see uh, uh, how it looks on a full figure Blythe and see her reaction to receiving this project. I, can, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited. And after I make this video, I'm gonna go see her video because I'm super excited to see what she thinks. Now, I'm going to open up my present from Marna from Dolls Rescue. I just received it, so I'm really excited to see what I received.
today we're going to open up this gift from Marna. Hi guys. Welcome back. This is... Hi guys. Welcome back. Let's open up the gift. Sparkly. Oh, so excited. What did we get from Marna? This is from Marna at Doll's Rescue. Ah, it's in there good. It don't want to come out. There we go. It says Alexandra. Ooh, I love it. Let's see what's all in here. Goodies! Oh my god, lots of goodies. This says, wait, open these last. These items are numbered and need to be open in order. Of course, starting with number one. Surprise items need to be opened in order of how they are numbered. This one has definitely says open last. So let's follow the directions and open that one last. Okay, I got a card. I am so excited. Oh, it's a flower card. Hello, Alexandra. We hope you love the enclosed items. We really had fun working them, work making them. And summer is here. Enjoy, Marna and Darren. So it says two summer dresses, one surprise. Okay. Do these have numbers? Nope. Okay. These don't have numbers, but we will see. I like the small packages. Big surprises come in small packages. Ooh, a flamingo. Oh, flamingo hair things. How cool. See? What's in this one? Sparkly paper makes me so happy. Oh, flamingo dress. How pretty. Yay. Flamingo dress. This one's all pink. They're two different sizes. At least they look two different sizes. I like them. What's in the square? What's in this box? Ooh, tiny little things. I love these little little um little to go boxes. I used to get a lot of these from the dollar store. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love tiny little packages. I don't know why it makes me happy. Oh, this one is a palm tree necklace. Yeah, how cool. That's gonna go good with the dress. Another palm tree necklace. This one's bigger. There's a little note. I left this ribbon long so you could cut it to the size you like. 
okay. This looks 3D printed. I wonder if Darren 3D printed it. I bet he did. All right, last but not least. Ah, I love these. I love these. These are also printed by Darren. I have a couple of them from Marna. I opened it for her um, May the 4th Be With You Star Wars collab. If you didn't see that one, go look at it. She sent me a bunch of these little hair barrettes for the dollies. And I absolutely love them. These are now pink. I got pink ones. They match the dresses real nicely. Oh, I got distracted and I didn't open the small ones that are in here. This is another necklace. Oh, these are little earrings. These are tiny. Extra palm trees if you want to break, break, uh, if you want one breaks on earrings, if you'd like. Hmm, cool. They're tiny little palm tree little things. Cool. Ah, these are the earrings. Are these for me earrings? Because they look like me earrings. Because I like the little palm trees. Me earrings! Ah, tiny little palm trees! I wonder how Darren got them so nicely printed. I can tell these are 3D printed, but uh, they're just really nice. He must got a really good printer. I have a resin printer, but I can tell this is an FDM printer, so I'm a little jealous because I'm one of FDM printer. But I like my resin printer so much because it can do tiny little details. I love this little box. I'm going to keep it for all my little things. All the little palm trees. Okay. This one says, wait to open last. So I've opened all the others and now it's this one. She put a lot of notes on it. It says, wait to open last. And then I have to open it by the numbers. Okay. One. Where's two? Two. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Left to right. I'm not sure if this is in screen. Okay. Number one. Ah, I know what's this. Aha, I got some dowels. I'm excited. Two. Is it more palm trees? Because I love those palm trees. Oh. It says two different sizes for dolly widths or the outfit they are wearing. We got four. Ooh, Darren's becoming really good at this 3D printing stuff. These are really nice compared to the other one that I got for the Star Wars. I can tell these took a lot longer to print. Oh my goodness. And I love this color, this tan color. Ooh, I like how it matches the, um, the uh, rod uh, nicely. This is pretty cool. Thanks, Marna. Thanks, Darren. I know I'm not finished unpacking, but I got I love these little things. I love 3D printed things. Three. Oh, three. Damn, boy. He's gotten really good. Look, it's a little beach. You have gotten really good at this 3D printing. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's a nice beach. Oh my goodness, this definitely took a while. Oh, it's really nice. It's sturdy too. I love the colors. 
I wonder what type of 3D printer he has. I have the Photon S from Anycubic, and I want to know what FDM printer he has. Look, another one. I got two. One's a little smaller. Nope, they're about the same size. These are great little scenes. Five. Ooh, this one comes with a note. Nope, nope, nope. I like notes. really well packaged. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys! Guys, Marna and Darren went all out with this. We thought you would like to choose which items and where to put them on the stand. Super glue works the best. So does my UV resin. I can UV resin it to it. Oh my god! Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so happy. Look how cool these are. We have starfishes. Oh my God. And the crabs, the crabs. I want to put a crab on a dolly's head. Is that bad? I want to put crabs on the head. <laughs> like, like, um, Marie Antoinette style. Oh my God. I love the tiny little crabs. Marna and Darren, these are such a great idea. y'all close up after I'm done but look at this oh these tiny little crabs oh my god these tiny little crabs I love all the little crabs the shells are pretty cool too I love the starfish but the crabs are my favorite I don't know why but they take they make me happy on the inside they make me so happy on the inside I want like a crab army now. I'm gonna go look for that 3D printer so I can find the crab now, so I can add crabs all over the place. Ah! Ah! I'm so happy! <laughs> all these little starfish and the crabs. Ah, and I still got two more. Ah, I'm getting over a small cold. All these allergies, man. What is in this? Oh. oh, guys. Guys. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, Darren's getting really good at the 3D printing. Oh, my goodness. Look at the seahorses. For a bit of blithe whimsical, you might use these or just one coming up out of the water. Super glue is the best. Yeah, super glue is the best. Oh, look at that. Little seahorse heads. They can have them coming out of the water. She said that's a good idea. I have a mama and a baby for each one. Ah. Ah. Last but not least, number seven. sand color. Hey, guess what? Guess what, guys? Yeah. It says you can super glue seashells to these, but I'm going to super glue a crab <laughs> because I love the crabs. Oh my God, I love the crabs. <laughs> or you can have a seahorse coming out of the hat, but I really, I really love the crabs. The crabs make me so happy. Oh my God, guys. I can have a little crab buddy on her head. Oh, these are so good. Oh my goodness, guys. We have a beautiful summer outfit. Like here's the dress. Here's a nice little headband. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a break. 
but when I come back, you guys are gonna see this on my doll. I just don't know what I I don't I only have one and I have two outfits. I have enough for two. I'm gonna have to show you guys one uh, one of one each. We're gonna have to do two different outfits because I only have one Blythe. The others are without heads. Well, I have four, but they're like. Their heads are all messed up because I was trying to customize it and it didn't work well. Oops. But we will we will play dress up in just a second, okay? Here they are, beautifully positioned. My two girls, I actually had to put one together so that I have two girls. I have so many parts of Blythe that I wasn't afraid, I was afraid I was not going to be able to get a second one in there. But I got two girls with Marna's beautiful little costumes and Darren's beautiful 3D printed bases and little starfish and the crabs. Oh my god, I love the crabs. There's also seashells and all the little flamingos everywhere. They're adorning their beautiful little uh, palm tree necklaces. They have their hair ornaments. One's got a little crab on her head because I love the little crab so much. And one got the little uh, flamingo in her hair. I am so happy. I just need to pierce their ears and then they can wear their ear piercings which are right there. But I'm really excited with how these girls look. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Look how beautiful they are. I love the seahorses. I love the flamingos. I love the palm trees. I love the stands. I love the, the hair stuff. Oh my god. Ugh, Marna and Darren outdid themselves. Oh my god. It is wonderful what they create. Oh, I'm so happy. Look how, look how amazing these things are. Look at it. Look how cool. And the little, the little tiny little crabs are like my absolute favorite. Look how cute they look. And they can barely even be on my camera because they're so tiny. But they're so cute. I've been so excited with the crabs. Like the crabs are 100% my favorite thing out of this set. But I love the flamingos. I love the dresses. I love how they look like twins. I now have two little girls ready and waiting to showcase some beautiful outfits. One has long hair, one has short hair. I need to finish modding the long haired girl because the short haired girl is all nicely modded. Um, but now I just need, I just need a really tone down the excitement because I'm just so happy with Marna's gift. So if you like this gift, go see Marna at Doll's Rescue to see how she created it, her thought process, her ideas, and everything in between. And tell her thank you so much for me because I really appreciate it. I'm going to jump on her channel too and see what's going on. And you might even see me in the comments. So go say hello, say something in her comments section, give her a like. Same thing with Ta Tammy Powell, Beth Ramsey, I met Ramsden, and um, so T Tammy Polly, sorry, Pet Beth Ramsden, and Jay from Jay's Dolls UK, as well as Marna from Dolls Rescue. Go say hello to all the girls and all the dolly love and see what they created and see their gifts and see their excitement because it is such a fun summer and I hope you enjoy this beautiful video. Now to say goodbye. Alright everybody, that's the end of this video. I got a sleepy puppy in my hand. She's so tired. And I am really excited with what I received. I hope Tammy is really excited to see my gift for her. I am really happy I worked really hard on it. So what is this surprise that I've been talking about? Well, if you came over from Tammy Polly's t channel from Peace Love Craft Dolls, you already know what's going on. I'm giving away three of these outfits that I created. That's why the pattern is not in the description box like it usually is because I am giving away three of these little outfits. 
I am going to put a link in the description box below. It is a link so that you can join on the fun. I'm also going to pin a comment to the comments below so that you can uh, also do that. It's a link that you'll follow and show you how to apply for this, this uh, giveaway. You're going to, so I got six outfits, each two for each person. There's going to be three winners. So there's not just one winner, there's three winners that are going to be receiving this beautiful little outfit that I created earlier in the channel. Not Marna's outfit, but my outfit. The one where you have the bathing suit, the shorts, the Bermuda shorts, and the little overshirt for the, the bathing suit, as well as the cute little dress. So you get the three piece outfit and the one dress all for absolutely free in this giveaway. So join the giveaway, um, have fun. I think the deadline is um, at the end of July actually. And so the deadline is to the end of July. Uh, you can look at the, uh, the description box for the link and follow the, the ways on how you can apply. I am using a software or a service called, I'm using a service called Gleam. So you will follow the link to Gleam and it will tell you how to finish applying for the giveaway. So I've given you guys some time. So this is for summer and y'all can enjoy the beautiful project and get one just for you. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like it, consider subscribing. And if you have anything to say, put it in the comments down below because I am always applying and reading your comments. So please have fun, enjoy this video, and thank you so much. Also, don't forget to look at the other videos. I know I've said this a couple of times already, but please visit Marna from Dolls Rescue, which is the person that I received the gift from. Go visit Tammy Polly from Peace Love Craft Got Dolls with Tammy Polly and see her reaction to the gift that I made. Also, don't forget Jay from Jay's Dolls UK and Beth Ramsden from Beth Ramsden's channel. Please spread the love, send them some likes, send them comments, tell them how much you love the dolls and you enjoy dollies just as much as we do. And I really appreciate you enjoy the community and have lots of fun. I love you guys. Bye bye now. Cool. Thank you so much. Love you.